council, directors, vice principals, deans, everyone in the student cabinet, student council members and my dear um, parents of the student cabinet members and my dear students. I feel very happy standing here before you as the new cabinet takes over. As Mr. Ganesh Kamath has already pointed out, times have changed. We lived in an age where, as I said, the president, you know, the, he had to go on a victory, uh, victory march right up to St. Agnes College. And he said, I don't know how it began and how it ended. It began because we didn't have girls in the college, obviously. And so we had to see the girls there at St. Agnes College. And how it ended? It ended because the girls came here. So with that it all ended. Isn't it? And I was just recalling and saying we were at that stage when I was in the final year, it was in the second year of college, that the girls just entered the college for the first time, a few small set of girls, and they were the solution of every eye. Rightly so. I suppose the greatest task, that was the greatest privilege of the president to go on an open sheet and to uh, the greatest uh, task of the school college leader was to ask for a holiday, a rain holiday. You remember that. As though that was the greatest thing. Those days the DCs never announced a holiday. Office bearers of the student council, the class representatives, Association heads, members of the staff, parents, and all the students present here. Once again, a very warm welcome to each one of you. <laughs> Dear students, as I embark on leadership roles today, I wish you all the very best. You have a great opportunity now to showcase your talents and abilities to exercise your leadership and be a good role model to others. Always bear in mind that this is a force for service to encourage others to guide and support the student council. Your goal should also be to ensure greater participation of your college mates in the varied co-curricular and extracurricular activities that we offer here. Strive to be inclusive as we know us as a multicultural and multi-religious campus. Foster healthy goodwill and fellowship among all the students irrespective of their backgrounds. And try to make the council contemporary and meaningful. Be creative, innovative, throw up new and fresh ideas. Do something good and beneficial to the students and make it deep impression on all the students whom we are going to serve. Once again, a hearty congratulations. I wish you all the best. I pray that God grant you wisdom and vision, a sense of unity to work together, to stand together as we begin to serve in this prestigious institutions as student leaders. I'm sure it is going to be a wonderful experience for you to lead and guide others. And the college motto, Nuchit and Artist, be your guiding light. God bless you. you. Continue to shine the path ahead. Once again, a warm welcome to each one of you. Very good evening to all of you. President and uh, President of today's program and Director Reverend Father Edwin Pinto, Principal Reverend Father Clifford Sequeira, the dignitaries of the dais, the newly elected members of the Student Council, the parents of students uh, who are here, I see a few of them, as also the others who I see other than the Student Councils, all of you who are here for today's program. I'm sure this program of the installation of the Students Council features somewhere high on the agenda of every institution. All are, it's the beginning of the year, all are enthusiastic and you have a new team coming in. And, uh, and Madam Kiran Chetty asked me to come here and be the chief guest. I was more than enthusiastic to do so. For one, I am an alma mater of this institute. And no matter for what reason, coming here always makes me happy. So every occasion to come here is something to look forward to. And today was no different. 
But what I was glad is after coming here when I met Father Rector, I was very happy to know that we shared the same co college campus. Like we were about the same time we were in college in 1987-88 in the St. Aloysius Degree College. And to be sharing a stage as a rector of the college with a person with whom we are mingled with each other. Probably we don't, we have not seen each other, but we were definitely on the campus around the same time. So adds to my happiness here today. Personally for me, my journey of my education, 15 years, believe it or not, those days the schools were not too many in Bangalore and some of us who joined as classmates in the first standard went on to graduate from here in final BCom. That was some experience because it hardly happens today. So much of options and students gained the classes, schools enrolled. But that was the sort of journey we had. And today, before I speak anything else, I think I should pay my respect to all the people who have shared all of us over these years, the immense number of teachers, all the Jesuit priests whom I remember one by one from my high to the headmasters from my high school days, middle school days, right to the college. There was no PU college then. All of you students know it was just one college, St. Aloysius College, and that went PU to degree. And the total strength of PU, the total number of students in PU would not have been as much as of you are in the hall today. And today to know that St. Aloysius PU College has 4,500 students, it is really a big achievement. And across so many streams, unbelievable number of streams, I always keep seeing the options that people uh, have taken up. Anyway, in this agenda, I think so, I was in the annual day program a couple of days ago. I've been going to many colleges as a part of our academy. I connect from the Chamber of Commerce as a part of the, from the industry. And we would like to connect with academia. And always when I go, when I go through the agenda, I think so the students always feel this chief gets interest in between, which stands between you and your celebrations today, or in some cases the cultural uh, uh, programs that are to follow up with the program. This is a more of a hindrance, is it so? People just want to know if this could be get, we could get done with this fast, it would be easier. But rest assured, I take another 8 minutes or 5 to 7 minutes, not more than that. So you all can be attentive. I don't intend to give a very big talk or a lecture, but I would like to share something with you all, which will be surely interesting for you. Because if we were to go back 35 years in time, and when the PU and degree college was the same, you would be just laughing yourself away as to how the Students Council celebrated their victory. It would not even, it would be beyond your imagination what would happen after a Student Council election where the President and the Secretary or others of that time would be elected. Aloysius was a total male domain. There was no poet in Aloysius. Aloysius, St. Aloysius went only boys. And if there was another college worth mentioning, it was St. Agnes and that was only girls. So this election which happens in June in St. Aloysius was a very big event. Lots of campaigning. Of course the system that changed, there was a direct voting I think so. I don't think the class representatives went and voted. All of us voted like a general election. Ten days of campaigning. All the students running with slogans around the college. All that talabala would happen and finally the election day would arrive. The presidential candidates would even give a speech starting from the ramparts of the college there. And pressure, I show so many things to the students, just like a political thing, we'll do this for you, we'll do this for you, all those things, no matter whether they can do it or not, that's a totally different thing. Now, post the election, what I want you to listen is, after the, there was no such both taking ceremony and all that, and of course, what they would do is, the only idea of the president, and almost half the college, with bikes and all that, the president would be on open G, he would be seated on a G, and starting right at the center of his college, uh, near the, all the stalls you will find outside with the bailout and other stalls there. Starting from there, with about hundreds of bikes and others watching or whatever, and a loud announcement proclaiming that so and so, that Nikhil K has become the, dude Nikhil K on the G, you imagine, if he is going on open G, it would, the procession would go straight towards St. Agnes College there, crossing Palmanda. And at a time when St. Agnes College was just about to live 3, 3, 30 or whatever those days, I don't remember. And an entire batch of Aloysians going there on that road, going near Vatsbeker, turning and coming back. Nobody knows why they went, why, why we did. But, but that was the routine until somewhere down the line the management thought enough is enough. And they said, no more of these processions. Now it does seem funny for you and you all will laugh, how could you ever do such a thing? What was the motive of doing this? For years together Aloysians was famous for doing this. I don't know why and what. But if you look back in time, I think so there was no internet there. There was no social, forget mobiles, but there was no internet, there was no social media. 
So probably that was the way to go to town. I think so today, before Nikhil K has taken his oath, or all of it, the pictures may be all over there. It may be your WhatsApp status now as I'm talking. It could be an Insta story, it could be your Twitter handle, it could be anything. So it would have gone all over. So that, those were the days and there was a photo flash here right outside. If a photo had to be got, it would be tomorrow where the reel would have to be developed. So those were the days probably. That was the fun, that was something which I thought uh, I would share here today, how times have changed going down the line. And today I see a different uh, method of introduction, different student council and different intent. All of you have uh, become leaders here. Your uh, master of ceremonies has given various virtues of leadership. Every time she has come, she has given you one virtue of leadership, which I am sure all of you would have heard. But why are you all here today? Definitely you are one among the equals of the 4,500 students. You don't get any special privilege for having become a leader here today or becoming a council member or whatever. But I think so. You all are more responsible than the rest for having taken this responsibility. So what the batches that I myself and my father put note of, it has your name on it. But what is not written on it is that I am responsible. You will be responsible for having taken up this position of leadership. So I think so your batch, all with you who are elected to remember what your names is always there. But that responsibility is something you will carry through. Now with this team of president and the leaders having taken up leadership skills, no doubt this is the formative years of your life. You are just in the pre-university, you have a long way to go into your university days and uh, further education. So what you invite here, this leadership skills, I'm sure will hold you in good stead. So it's all about what is it now along with that concept and I see so many elected classes with two each is what your man told me. So that makes it a big team. So that would be a big exercise in team building itself. Building this team and uh, coordinating, interacting and to make it an active team itself is a challenge by itself. The All of you have just one year under the sun and positions like this unlike others where the academic year is very less these days. Starts in July and if you take factor the number of holidays and other things, you have very few number of days in the college. So your planning should be very well. I think so one of these days as a council members, your plans and targets for the next one year should be in place. You should clearly know where you are headed to. Planning and targets, setting targets is one thing, but execution is another different ball game altogether. So many of us, wherever we are, in whichever part of our life, including as the president of the chamber, I would have planned so many things in September, but reaching even 50% or 75% of it is not an easy task at all. So get your targets right, but also get your execution right. You are accountable. You all have taken the oath today to be the representatives of whatever. Be accountable to the post that you have taken up. And no doubt to say along with that, you should also do a lot of hand holding for your other students. Now that you are leaders and you are about others, you should find out in what way you can be of help to the people who have not become leaders. They may have so many issues in your class. They may have so many issues not necessarily to academics. I think so you should lend a helping hand to all of them. Finally, it boils down to one simple thing. You have to be more active than the other. I'm sure all of you are what the leadership can do to a team. I think so if you, I think how, how many of you are IPL followers here? Each one of you, so many. The IPL would have been the franchising teams, the RCP or Chennai Super Kings or the Mumbai. Each one is following badly. But the one person, the captain who amongst them all, who was it? Dhoni. MS Dhoni. And I think so Nikhil should take a page out of his book. No matter what the situation is, he is always true. But what he does is, he has led the team for 11 years. And last year, he decides to step down. And that very Chennai Super King wins, everybody knows. He was on the top of the, the bottom of the table last year. Again, Dhoni comes there. One person, cricket is a team of 11. But one person, Dhoni comes back. And he does a difference to the team. No matter whether he scores runs or not. But what he does to the team is amazing. And then you had again Chennai Super Kings going to the finals. And I think so, they were the ultimate winners. No, other days, I feel. Now, what is it that Dhoni did? What others could not, what other captains could not, or what is it that failed for them when he was not the captain for one year, which was last year. That means the leader of a team can influence the direction of a team, no matter whether he plays or not. That is something from leadership, which you, from sports, which you can invite. A great example, I always am uh, enamored by his attitude, the cool thing, no matter which situation you are. As leader, you will land up in so many problems sometimes. So, 
I think some of the problems should rest with the leader, the success is always with the team. Time management and other things are something which are always definitely learned. But more than anything else, I think some other principles mentioned, be the brand ambassadors of your institutions. As leaders, you are the brand ambassadors. That will what it will be. Coming to the near future, unlike a degree course you have, as I said earlier, you all have opted for various streams. I always see the college has so much to offer today in terms of uh, learning. So I'm sure you all will excel in whatever you have not taken, the science, commerce, arts, art, so many other journalism and so many fields are there which have no idea. Just a few minutes, as a chamber of commerce and as students, I want you to know what India holds for you today. Probably as students, everybody is thinking of uh, foreign education at the UG level, undergraduate level, or they want to go at the degree level. The idea is to not to be in manual or just to go out and study or go out of the country. But I think so, we are more than one fifth into the 21st century. The one fifth of the 21st century is already behind us. And India is an amazing story, dear students, I want you to listen to this. It is one of the fastest growing economies and we are the fifth largest in the world today. We are a country with a massive population. We are the most populous country in the world with 1.4 billion. But that is not something to cheer up on. We need not. But what is happening is, one billion of them are below the age of 35. A population of one billion is under 35, all of you included. That makes us an amazing marketplace in the days to come. The best of our talent is yet to come. That's something which is very great. And of course, the internet with revolution which has come. We are the second largest internet users in the world. We add one, three internet users every second and two of them are from the villages. The highest mobile data is consumed in the world is by India. The highest mobile data, the number of data that goes into it. So that is the sort of thing. But coming to the socio-economic change that is happening, the startups, all of you have heard of startups, I'm sure you all should be one of those thinking on those lines. India has an amazing startup set, startup set up, and earlier people were ever starting startups. Nobody wanted a business, everybody wanted the same habits of uh, being in the job, same job, okay, Monday to Friday you work. But today the startups hold great interest for the, the younger generation. So when our parents or grandparents saw this, I think so all of you see a reward. Have your own enterprise, you see a good reward there. Of course, as I said, do stay back here, but let there not be a flight of talent from Mango because if the, all the educated, all the youngsters are going to see the greener side beyond Mango, then the city, I always tell wherever I go, it will be a city of pensioners. Only you see the people above the age of 60 will remain here. So always try to come to how to be successful, I think so. All of you should try to come out of your comfort zone. Being within your zone, there is nothing much that can be done. Good mental fitness and there is always for something to be done. There is no more. Don't procrastinate what you can do today for tomorrow. That's what success with people do. Let your creative ideas flow. The three S's, see, sleep and so. See some ideas, problem and study problem. Sleep, your unconscious, your subconscious mind should study about it and so the benefits. So these are some of the things which the creative ideas which you should carry on without any fail. The list can be endless. What manual holds for you in terms of business? I've already told you there are a lot of things which have come up like the incubation center and all. I'm just going to your degree class. It's too early to talk about the, all those things. What manual can the IT industry is going to be very big for those of you in science. The beyond manual mission, most of the IT segment. The big players in the IT players will be in Mangalore soon. By the time you are graduates, you are lucky. The big top IT players will be here. You have so much happening on artificial intelligence and chat GPT and so many other things. There's a lot of buzz around artificial intelligence. So I'm sure you all will be the generation working there. Then you have the commerce field where there is so much to look beyond CA as well. You have integrated batches for CA, but beyond CA also there is so much on the online space that is happening in the commerce segment. Finance and others, there is the end, the list is unending. I know you all are very, very busy now in the sense these few days have become so much. A lot of stress is also being noticed among students where you have your regular classes, then to support the need, JE, IT, UPSC, I don't know the number of courses. Everybody is studying from morning 7 to evening 7, I know that there is hardly any time during these few days. But with all these uh, new associations or cultural uh, and other various faculties of which have taken charge, they be active in that also, that will make a difference because you will not get the chance to go through what you have, this journey that you are going through now, you will not get a second chance to be here. 
So while we pursue to academics, let each one of these associations which have started today be very vibrant, be very good, let them function very well. In fact, I was very happy to see one as religious harmony, that's something which is emerged as a topic, always good for a committee for religious harmony, that was amazing. And only a place like this which has stood the time and given so many great uh, leaders to the country, I'm sure. All of you will also rise to the occasion. This batch of 23, 24 also will go on to produce great leaders for the future based on what we have learned in this institution. Do the best of this, your journey, and we'd like to see more. A gratitude journal, I'm sure it will run into pages, and I'm sure you don't have patience to read that. So I am thinking I will publish this gratitude journal and circulate among all of you. Here I am just to give a brief summary of the gratitude that we have in our hearts. And I'm thinking, in the first page of my journal, whose name shall I write? And I think so, that I shall write the name of the last year's student council, who were a great example and a great motivation for us to continue to have the student council this year also. So we thank the last year's student council for their excellent service rendered to this college. And I'm sure my dear students, next year there will be someone talking about you. And in that book, I think in capital letters, Sir Ganesh Kamal Sir, I would write, like to write your name in capital letter in that book because you so graciously accepted our invitation adjusted your busy schedule and so happy to come back to your college. I would also like to add there that when Father Melvin and you were among the ones in the procession from Aloysius, the two student councillors, uh, student council directors, Amanda Shetty and myself were at Agnes standing and waiting for this procession. anything and our sisters used to be so smart that one year they thought because the procession is coming at 3 30 they left us at 2 30 and you know what happened the procession came at 2 30 amazing without phones without internet i still don't know how it came but the jeep was there the open jeep was there at 2 30 coming in front of saint agnes gates so that was my story of St. Agnes. Uh, so, sir, I think we did have a connection after all, even though I thought I did not know you. And in this book, I would like to write in bold our rector Melvin Pinto's name because he stands out in this campus at a, as a great leader. You have always motivated us and your just presence is an example and you are a role model for all of us. Thank you, Father. I continue in my book. I shall write in italics the names of Father Pradeep and Father Derek because this italics is something special and you always add a special vibe to any event. Thank you for your... Good evening to everyone present here. I'm Nikhil K, batch 18 BBA, and I am the president of St. Aloysius Beer College. Good evening to our respected Reverend Father Clifford Sequera SJ, Reverend Father Melvin Pinto SJ, Reverend Father and uh, Mr. Ganesh Kamat, who are our today. The Vice Principals, Deans, Teaching Staff, Non-Teaching Staff, Parents and all, all the students present here. I, Nikhil, stand here with great honor and pride in front of all of you as the president of St. Aloysius Pier College. Firstly, I would like to congratulate all the class reps that have been elected, which is not an easy thing, you know, to, to gain your trust from your classmates and to get elected as the class rep, it's not an easy thing. I would also like to congratulate all the students who have been elected as the president and secretary of the respective associations. I would also like to specially congratulate the student council members who have been elected 
as a student council among almost 4,000 students. So can you imagine? It's a really great number. And still, we will do great. They're all deserving and I'm sure we as a student council will do our best for and to this esteemed college. We are really blessed and lucky to have two of the best teachers as instructors of Student Council for the year 2023-24. It is none other than Kiran Ma'am and Amita Ma'am. I am 100% sure we are going to do great as we are being guided by the best. So thank you ma'am and to all of you all who have given us this opportunity. Me and my roommate Austin, we were sitting in the hostel like during the tea time, we were sitting there and all of a sudden I hear people screaming the word president and coming in, that were our seniors. They were screaming the word president aloud and then I see one person walking right in front of all of them and that is none other than Harsh Ponaka, one of the best friends you'll ever see. So, I looked at him for a second and I thought and imagined and wished just for that moment what would it be, how would it feel and what can I do if I was the president of St. Aloysius too. And as you can see, right now, in all of you, right in front of all of you, I stand here as the president. So, I would like to tell everyone that believe in what you dream of. Like if you really wish to achieve it, you will achieve it no matter what. We as a student council will do our best in academics, cultural activities and anything. We will do the best for and to this college. I once again thank everyone and congratulate all the reps, association presidents and secretaries and the student council for giving us this opportunity. Good luck to all of you all. Do your best. God bless you.